How's it going, everyone? My name is Do Girl, and welcome back to Dragon Fable. Last time we left off, we had uh, learned that the Magistrum was having co trouble controlling their rifts, and they in instigate an intense debate whether or not to send out something called the Golden Hand. Now, how does their actions affect us and the people around us? Let's find out, and let's do it to it with the golden hand yeah. <clears throat> okay what are we going to do it was difficult enough to manage one rift but now they're open across the kingdom until we receive word from sword haven we must continue to defend Amnipal. Kara, of the Vind, you and your fighters are welcome to assist us. However, we do understand if you wish to move your forces elsewhere. Without coordination from the Queen, we cannot know what where aid is most required. Our own scouts have been tracking the situation. Unfortunately, we may need to reinforce the northern fronts as they are the farthest from Swordhaven and the Rose resources. Uh-oh. Ah, finally. Orders from Lady Janiah herself. Let's see. It seems I was mistaken. This is for you, Lady Kara. And this one is yours, Tristina. And here I thought we'd, fin we'd be receiving directions from Swordhaven. Tristina, by decree of Queen Victoria of the Kingdom of Greenguard, your presence is immediately requested in Swordhaven regarding the urgent matter of the Magistrum attack. Mine is the same. We're requested to travel to Swordhaven? Are you comfortable with this, Kara? I'm going. Well, yeah, she had previous... She had a previous run-in with, uh, Janaya. Are you sure? You're the leader of the Vind. If Lady Janaya were to capture you, I cannot guarantee that... No. If Janaya is there, then I'll have the opportunity to talk to her. I'll have protection, too, once we arrive. My safety is not of concern. Tristina and my bodyguard will accompany me. And what of your, your wind, your troops? Thank you for your concern, Neron. I'll have to attend to them before we leave. I guess that means we're off to Swordhaven. I apologize, Tristina, but it seems once more that you must travel alone. The wind must have their orders before I can leave. I understand. I'll meet you in Swordhaven. Don't worry. We, sh we shall be one step behind you. Try to get us some orders, too, would you, Tristina? Yeah, it seems everybody's kind of out in the cold when it concerns the Rose. And I did not mean that as a pun towards, uh... Uh... Janiah's abilities. Also, watch this. <laughs> to the right of here. Like, you can't figure out where you came from. <laughs> uh, also, I wanted to say, uh, as far as an update concerns, um, the doctors have determined that the, uh, I, I might have said this in a previous vlog, I'm not sure, but the doctors have determined, <laughs> sorry, many hours later you finally spot Sword Haven in the distance. Well, at least, it, you know, a little time cut there. I thought that was cute. Uh, the doctors have concerned that uh, the situation with my ear has is deteriorating, and it's because, I, as I've said, of an autoimmune disease. So, uh, yeah, my immune system is attacking my joints, my ears, everything. So, yeah, not good, not good, not good. Um, they have me on a uh, low-sodium and low-caffeine diet, 
which is kind of tricky because I even milk, uh, like 2% milk, that has sodium. So I got to watch all that. So, yeah, I can't eat like I used to, which, uh, if you've seen, uh, if you've seen any of my vlogs, you've seen my stomach and, uh, my chest, it hasn't done me any favors anyway. <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah, that kind of sucks, but, uh, I guess it's for the best, you know? I wonder if this is the last one. Um, i just go ahead and do it to it. Also coming up, uh, I have a special treat for you guys near the end of the year. Uh, I'm taking all the clips from, uh, from throughout the year and cutting out just the point where I talk about, you know, news on the channel, news on my health, different things like that. Yeah, that wasn't the last one. Okay, oof. Things are getting hot in here. No pun intended. So, yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoy that. I've been working on this actually since last month, uh, a couple months ago, so. As for Psycho, I don't know when she's going to make another appearance. Uh, I really don't. I uh, have to kind of... I didn't mean right now. No, get down. Get down. Uh... Yeah, I don't know when she's going to make another appearance. She's itching to come back, though. Okay, so much for that current setup. Oh, I thought... Wait. I thought Swordhaven was that way. Swordhaven's that way. Okay. Almost there. Oh, that was the last one? Fudge. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> oh, I forgot he ran in full plate armor, too. Eesh. Ouch. <clears throat> I like the added touch of, uh, before we begin, I like the added touch of the map in the middle of the table. Thank you for answering my summons, Lady Kara, Tristina. Lady Janiah says that you are leader of the wind, Lady Kara. It is a pleasure to meet you. The pleasure is all mine, Your Majesty. Janiah has told you the truth. I am the leader of the wind. Wonderful. Now, down to business. Given the current situation with the Magistrum's assault on the kingdom, I would hope to negotiate a truce between the forces of the Rose and the Vind. No, not a truce. A temporary alliance. Oh. <laughs> oh. Forgive my interruption, my queen. But that is not what you... An alliance unifying the people of Greenguard against this threat. We cannot afford to be divided during this time of peril. Eesh. Victoria knows when to put her foot down. The Vind would like to be agreeable to this, but our people are still persecuted by the Rose. Rose operations have been constantly pestered by the actions of the wind. This is unacceptable. Can't you just agree not to fight each other for the greater good? Hmm. My queen, it is not so simple. Our people have long been our people have been in a prolonged skirmish. There are grudges and resentments on both sides as well as prejudices and assumptions. Ouch. Yeah. The Vin kidnapped the king. Even now, he is undoubtedly in their grasp. That's a lie, Janiya. Lady Kara, is this true? Are you holding my father against his will? While we cared for his wounds for some time, he has since recovered and left of his own accord. He mentioned that he has some personal business to attend to. It was not my place to pry into the affairs of the king. Of course she deny it. And, Tristina, can you corroborate this information? I hate being the middleman. I can. Lady Kara speaks the truth. Unbelievable. The king. 
My father. Was he well when he left? He was. He made it clear that he was proud of you and had full confidence in your abilities. I see. Lady Janiah, she is only telling you what you want to hear. Lady Janiah, I trust Tristina, and since she can vouch for Lady Cara, I believe her. Do you mistrust the judgment of your queen? I do not, your majesty. Then as leaders of the Rose and the Vind, you who have gathered so many followers, you must inspire your people to put aside their differences in the face of the end of the world. <laughs> I love how Kara's thinking about Janiah's like, oh god, no. Sorry. Oh, right, God. Uh, well, if I can find a Bible verse about working together with friends or enemies, I will definitely put that, that at the bottom of your screen. Perhaps we could try. It would not be easy. If you so command it, my queen. Politics is easy. Janiah, if I may have a word, I must send out our new orders and return to my research. But... Lady Kara, please forgive Lady Janiah for this... She believes she may be able to close all the rifts, as such her time is quite valuable. Her research? What are you planning, Denia? <laughs> yeah. That brings us to you, Tristina. Me? How are you doing? I am quite... Well, Your Majesty, what can I do for you? While I have full confidence in Lady Janiah's abilities, you are quite resourceful. I would like you to search for any alternate methods of closing the rifts. That won't be necessary, my queen. My plan is... Your plan is still th just that. A plan. I will not gamble with the lives of my subjects. I... I understand. Good. Is this agreeable to you, Tristina? I was planning to do just that all along, Your Majesty, so yes. Glad to hear it. Now, I'm sure you have you all have a lot of business to attend to, but first we must step up some prelim primina, uh, sorry, preliminary logistics. Send messages. What is the... This can't be good. Behind me, your majesty, this magic... Yeah, everybody's ready to attack. Crap. Ooh. Okay. Identif... Identify yourselves, intruders, before I toss you in the dungeons. It appears we've made it alive, Ostromil. Oh, good. Hello there, primitives. What is the meaning of this? I am called Vesvar. Veslava. I am Ostromir. We are the Division Oshim of the Golden Hand. We have been sent by the Magistrum of the Shapeless Empire. By decree of the Shapeless, and at great and cost and personal risk, to negotiate and assist in this unfortunate incident. Most unfortunate incident. The Magistrum? They must not be trusted, Your Majesty! Oh, the meddler. Most convenient. 
We are to negotiate with you as well. But we are not allowed to contain you, because if we do that, it makes our jobs so much more difficult. Politics and such. Excuse me. You're from the Magistrum, who attacked my father, have declared war on Green Guard with your most recent assault, and you're here to negotiate? Regarding the matter of your king, that was an unfortunate accident. Indeed. You have our sincerest apologies, extended to you by the shapeless. Sincerest apologies. However, the most recent assault, as you put it, was not our doing. The voice screeching that it is, in fact, your doing seems to indicate otherwise. Not entirely our doing. The shapeless only willed that we open one or two of these rifts at a time. However, the opened rifts are now no longer under the magistrum control. Something, or someone, has interfered. So we've come, at great cost and personal risk, to offer our assistance in controlling the rifts. And you can close them. Well, no. That requires the combined might of the Magistrum, and it also requires the rifts being back under our control. My queen, you can't seriously be considering trusting them. They are enemies. They attacked your father. You make a fair point, Janiah. How can we trust you, golden hand of the shapeless empire? You claim that your attack on my father was an accident. If you don't, then we're all idiots. We expect you to trust us, because if you don't, then you will not find another way to close the rifts. And their influence will only keep spreading until it covers all of law. And you'd probably imprison or execute us. I wouldn't like that. But we've closed a rift already. Surely we can find another way. Oh, the hero. Tristina, yes? Of course, you'd be here too. About that closure, I don't suppose you'd be willing to divulge how that was managed? No, I don't think I will. What a shame. Unfortunately for you, we know the magic of the rifts, and we know what they are, that they are not closed so easily. So you probably can't do it again. Probably. And of my father? You've apologized, but explain yourselves. Why did your golems attack us? That was an accident. We sincerely apologize. Seems quite deliberate to me. Our information regarding the hierarchy of the, ki this ki the kingdom was misinformed. The magistrum was under the impression that the king was subservient to the rose. Preposterous. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, can I face? <laughs> Are you satisfied with that answer? I am. We can discuss reparations later. Reparations? Ah, uh, yes, certainly. So what is it that you want, exactly? Veslava, Ostromir. We require free passage across Gringard as well as some protection when we near the rifts. We have to get close to make our adjustments. And what is the nature of these adjustments? 
we will bring the rifts back under magistrum control and manually adjust their size as to no longer be a threat. When we have completed our task, we will send word back to the Empire and the process of closing will begin. Why do you require our cooperation for all of this? Couldn't you just teleport where you needed to go? Teleportion. Teleportation is a tricky magic. And our adjustments take time. Very risky and expensive. It wouldn't do us any good if we arrived at a rift and our mangled remains were remangled by elementals. Hmm. Lady Janaya, Lady Kara, Tristina, what are your thoughts? Would these rifts remain closed afterward? That depends on Janaya. If she stops her snooping around in Magistrum territory, then the rifts will stay closed. I cannot promise that. Then we cannot either. But why attack the kingdom? If Janiah is, is intruding on Magistrum ground, can you not defend the, against the rose there? The fissure is a place of extreme magical energy. To send forces to do combat there would be unfeasible in the long term, for both the Magistrum and the Rose. Attempting to re create a rift there could have unpredictable results. The current rifts force the resources of the Rose away from the fissure. The kingdom being caught in the crossfire is regrettable, but... But now we, un we now understand that the road a Rose answers to Swordhaven. Rest assured, the Shapeless do not wish to conquer your lands only to do what it takes to stop the Rose's interference. Does that answer your question? It does, but I must disagree with your methods wholeheartedly. I have an ear query. Where do these rifts lead? You don't know? What kinds of... what kind of backwards they... I'm afraid we cannot divulge that information. Then we will find out on our own. Good for you. As long as you keep your precious nose out of the fissure. I... Any more questions? Or can we get to work? The Magistrum has caused great harm and damage to the Green Kingdom of Gringard and its people. However, if the situation is as dire as not only you, Veslava, and Ostromir have told me, but Lady Kara and Tristina, as well as our own scouts, then I see no other choice. Veslava, Ostromir, of the Golden Hand of the Shapeless Empire, I grant you free passage. Passage only, though, should you break our laws or be found doing anything untoward or suspicious, you will be executed. So dramatic. It would only be fair if we were to go back on our word. Lady Janaya, you are free to continue your research, provided that you manage your troops and keep away from the fissure. Thank you, my queen. We must first, we must protect the people of Greenguard. No, all of law first. Then we can resume our petty political squabbles. The Rose and the Vind will work together to protect the people of, kin of the kingdom while the Golden Hand does its work. At no point will interference or subterfuge be tolerated. Is that clear? Understood. Yes, Your Majesty. Of course. Of course. And what should I do? I leave that up to you, Tristina. You may assist the Rose or the Vind in their endeavors, or, should you choose to, you may aid in escorting the Golden Hand. Yes, Your Majesty. I'm doing it, Father. Wherever you are, I hope you're proud. 
Wow. That was that was that was something else, honestly. Ooh, sorry, starting to lose my voice again. Who will you help in defense of lore? Um uh, I don't know yet, honestly. I have to think about it over and pray over it some more, but I really can't say who I'm going to choose. Okay. All right. That was the uh the quest, the golden hand. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked the video, please like and comment down below. I really appreciate it. Also share with your friends. It really helps me out a lot. Take care of each other. God bless you all. And I'll see y'all later. Oh boy. Three doors, but which one to choose?